Good morning, everybody. So uh, here I am in my Sarah Younger day today. Um, and you know, I was thinking that God gives us all different tools. And uh, Sarah Young isn't the Bible, but it's a tool that he's given me. And I like to share it with you and, and encourage y'all to do it. But, you know, you all, everybody has a different way. Some of them listen to prophets and on their phone and online, on their computers. I listen to TV. And, you know, I get my messages from, of course, from the Word first, you know, but church and different Christian ministries and different things. And so I'm looking at the Sarah Young today. And it says, grow strong in your weakness. Some of my children I have, I have gifted with strength and stamina. But others, like you, have received the humble gift of frailty. <laughs> and so I can take this a lot of ways, you know, but uh, the truth is, it's it's true. And uh, I, I'm not the sharpest tool in the toolbox, as they say, you know. <laughs> and uh, in my family of four, you know, my brothers and sisters were way smarter than me, better grades and all this, you know. So when I got saved... They all said, many of them, you know, said, well, she needed a crutch. She always needed a crutch. Well, my crutch was Jesus. You know, he helps me through so many things. And so I had to, um, if you have ever been, you know, put upon and, and, and downside, whatever, you know, criticized and whatever, you know, be free. Be free of that. And know that, um, be easy on yourself. And know that God is there with you. And he is maybe not, you don't want to have to call him your crutch, you know, but he's here for you. And uh, so one of the things that it said, Isaiah 40, it went to Isaiah 41 today, or 40 rather, but I went to Isaiah 41 and uh, 10. It says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I've had to just hang on to that all my life, ever since I've been saved and learned of the Lord. You know, I've just hung on to that. And because my crutch has saved me, <laughs> they call my crutch, has saved me, saved my soul, saved many of my friends and family members, saved many, including my parents. So, um, but I've had to learn to do things in moderation and not just go way out this way and way out that way. And also, I had to learn to uh, be easy on myself. And I had an employer one time tell me years ago, you know, if you don't make any mistakes, I think you're not working. Because <laughs> we're going to make mistakes. We're going to do things that, you know, even Paul says, I do things that I don't even want to do. And so we have to free ourselves from that. And, you know, the old saying is not how many times you fall, it's how many times you get up. <laughs> and so, you know, just be easy. I'm, it's moderation. You know, just be easy on yourself. And so one of the things I was thinking today, too, not to make this such a long video, is that one of the things I do is I do everything in steps. You know, like I like to, uh, I love to do jigsaw puzzles. But I, I can be just lazy, and I have to do things in steps. I can't just, I don't. I don't think I can. I don't just jump up and go and do and complete a project. I don't. I'll take, the, I'll order the box of puzzles or buy it, whatever, you know. And so then I'll put it out on the table that I use to do my puzzles. <laughs> Another day. Another day I'll open it up, you know, and get it ready. Another day I'll start putting it together. And after I've put it together, I glue them together. And so, and then I frame them and I give them away to uh, different places, nursing homes and things. So I try to buy, you know, pretty pictures and stuff. But that's a process, you know. I don't just jump up and go do. I have a, it's a process. And the same thing um, I have to do, I don't have to, but I do with uh, meeting the Lord, you know. Prepare a table that looks pretty, that looks nice, that looks inviting for you. Get your Bible out. Get your, you know, notebook, paper, and pen out, you know. Get yourself ready so that when you come, you know, to the table, it's easy, got to make life easy for yourself you're not going to keep on doing stuff it's it's hard it's kind of like um Joyce Meyer even mentioned today she was running or walking I guess five miles a day well she's 80 I mean she's almost 80 or, or over 80 whatever and she got plantar fasciitis well you know maybe if she'd have walked a half a mile or a mile you know moderation because you know you can't just do yourself in number one you know but be easy on yourself be easy on yourself today. Don't worry about stuff because, you know, what does the Lord say? You know, my strength, my, 
grow strong in your weakness. It says, trust in me to guide you and strengthen you as needed. This is how you grow strong in your weakness. Trust the Lord in everything. And be easy on yourself. Can't say that enough. And I'm going to end with, still in Isaiah. I love Isaiah, don't you? So this is Isaiah 54, 13. You ready for this? It doesn't. It may not apply to, any, to all of y'all. And I'm always surprised that some that, you know, will... Um, they, they seem to hear the video and they see the video, you know, and they, and they say, oh, that just blessed me today. Oh, Lord, that just touches my heart. You know, it just one person. And sometimes it's just one. Sometimes it's many, you know, so it just encourages me. But anyway, um, here is Isaiah 54, 13. It says, all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. And that's how I'm going to end with that. Because not maybe not everybody has children, but you have somebody that, you know, that uh, the Lord has given to you in your life that you care about. But for these people that have the children, including me, I claim this for my kids. All your children should be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. Isn't that a great? God loves you. Jesus loves you so much. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.